Creston fishermen are dead after falling through the ice on a farm pond in Union County. Earl Buckhalter, Charles Critz, and James Oshel all died on Saturday. Creston police say the men went ice fishing and never returned. Our warming temperatures mean you need to take extra caution when venturing out onto the ice. KCCI's Jason Rantala is live at Grays Lake here in Des Moines with a few safety reminders. Yes, yeah, Stephen Stacy, when you go out on any body of water, you need to check the thickness of the ice, especially with 60 and 70 degree temperatures just around the corner. Even in March, in 50 degree weather, Big Creek is a hot spot for ice fishing. Just not today. After that incident down south, yeah, on that private pond, that scares a lot of people. Despite any fears of heading out on the ice late in the season, pretty good amount of ice. Yep. DNR officer Aaron Arthur says it can be safe. So long as you take precautions. That means drilling holes in the ice every 10 or so feet to check thickness. We measured up to 15 inches of ice on Big Creek Monday. No such thing as safe ice, especially this time of year when we get to 60 degrees. Jabbing a spud bar into the ground every few steps does an even better job. And it's just a matter of people not paying attention. They've got spud bars to check the ice, and you ought to be using them. The DNR also recommends having ice jabbers in case you fall through the ice and a tight four throwable that can double as a seat cushion. Also, go out okay. with a buddy. So there'll be a lot of people out ice fishing. You know, it gets warm out. People want to go out. It makes ice fishing a little easier. While the ice we saw was safe today, it's not expected to last long. And then when the wind picks up, pushes it this whole lake shifts back and forth. And then the ice is gone. It'll take it out quick. As soon as a few days from now, our ice will begin to disappear. It's time to start thinking open water fishing, definitely. Now, officials say tile lines and creeks running under ice can make that ice very thin. They also, small ponds are more dangerous than larger bodies of water. That ice does not stick around very long on those uh, smaller ponds. Also, stay away from green ice or opaque ice. That clear ice that may actually look dangerous is actually a lot thicker. But again, check it very often. Live at Gray's Lake, Jason Rangel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.